Hello again, welcome to a daily run on a nice sunny day with a nice sunny Isaac with an immediate transformation of Mom, okay. Is it Mother's Day in America? It must be. Is this an XR floor? No, let's go in here. So we're going as far as Mom. <laughs> Obviously. We have Mom's eye, Mom's lipstick. I think it's just a range upgrade. Most of diarrhea is not that useful. Diarrhea. Uh, we have, therefore, the knife training behind us, Mom's knife. This is an easy mode run, or at least a normal mode run. Which means there will be fewer... Champions. Uh, I can see if forever's a nice pill, because it has just shown us where the secret room is. The secret room is a few more exploration points, but also it has a good, um, a good benefit possibility to it which especially if you don't have to pay the bomb to get in is definitely worth checking out although now I have two bombs we could have done so but even if you knew where it was you'd have to pay the bomb right but when we get uh, I can see forever we don't even have to pay the bomb we just walk straight in the value proposition thereof is excellent right the trailing knife is not very useful, I'll be honest. Uh, there are very few situations where you find yourself going, I wish there was a knife behind me so that this monster that is currently chasing me down would stop. But, I mean, it does happen occasionally, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, and also we have Mom's pad, which is A, gross as hell, and B, also not that great. Oh, range down. Well, that makes up for the range upgrade we got for free when we started. Oh. Um, Mom's pad, I think, just causes a fear effect. It's quite temporary, and I mean very temporary. Didn't we have another... No. We haven't found our item room either, so we should definitely do that. Assuming there is one. Uh, it's a very temporary tier effect, which I think may do a small amount of damage. But honestly, I, I don't really think it's that good. I kind of want everything in that shop, though. But this being a daily run, there's no um, no donation machine to... Yeah, there you go. I use the knife. No donation machine to explode in order to get us the cash we need to use it. Which is a shame, but okay. Uh, either there's no item room or I'm going mental. Chicken Oriental. I don't think there is one. Can we get anything of value? No. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave. Uh, yes, up there. That's right. Well done. Hmm. With no item rooms, this run could turn sour quite quickly. Oh, it's a fear effect. Of course it is. Uh, I don't know if I trained myself to just ignore what happens when you use Mom's pad. <laughs> but I did. Uh, hopefully none of you lot did, because you've all just been grossed the hell out by probably one of the grimmest items in the game. I mean, visually. It's... Ugh flies and gross and stuff. Two spirit hearts of the next floor, so we could get some strength out of playing deals with the devil. And of course we're going to be getting uh, item room items, uh, not item room items, boss items, but that's not necessarily as good as actually having item rooms to open. But then again, some run runs are train wrecks even if you do have item rooms, so let's just treat this as a train wreck run with bad item rooms and forget about the fact that there are no item rooms. That seems like a good play. Just play well. It's an Isaac run. Very vanilla. Very, uh, it's on normal mode, so also very much a bonus to us. And we will try and get as far as we can. Unfortunately, it seems like we're not necessarily going to go that fast, which will be a problem because we want to do boss rush. And we want to be strong enough to compete in boss rush as well as actually being able to do it in the first place. This could be a, a secret room here. Able is an item. Uh, I don't really care for it. Little Horn, I will just fear up. May not be a great idea to fear up Little Horn, actually, because I'm wondering if it just causes it to run away from you. This is always teleporting away from you in the first place. <laughs> I used the knife on purpose. Just pretend that was cool play. Because uh, Little Horn is always teleporting anyway, maybe fearing it straight off the, out of the door is uh, probably a, a less than ideal play. This makes it harder to hit and therefore take longer. We've got to deal with the devil. We've got a latch key which gives us a spirit heart. 
as well as two keys, which are not going to turn out to be that useful, I feel. But this is an excellent opportunity to just replace everything that we have. Uh, I will take the guppy item, but I will keep the Book of Belial. The value of guppy is worth one HP this early on in the game. I think we should use the key to go in here as well. We'll take a spirit heart. Might as well take this card. Oh, we can't take this card yet. Let's get a coin. Ah, it worked. Haha. <laughs> Two of spades. That's uh, just a few... A few more keys for us, which we'll use straight away, because what I'm going to do is come up here and put them into this door here. And we get some more stuff. Well, we'll use our... Oh, I didn't actually... Uh, I pressed Q. I swear I did, but apparently I didn't actually use the two of spades. When I was saying we'll use it straight away, my finger was pressing the Q key. But it wasn't uh, pressing it hard enough for the game, so... I suppose well then. Just live with it. And then we've got Mom's Eye, which I've not even spoken about, except to sort of in passing cordially, well not cordially, token appreciation, a gesture, a manoeuvre, uh, to mention it because it's caused us to have a Mom transformation, but it just fires backwards sometimes, which means we're going to want to not take things like um, Epic uh, Doctor Fetus, or Epic Fetus actually, thinking about it, um, or, there was our HP gone, oh it's got damage gone down again. I feel like it has. Um, or Ipecac is also very dangerous because if it's firing backwards, oftentimes you're going to want to be up against a wall sort of for protection. You're not protected if you're firing your own bombs backwards into the wall, as I'm sure you can understand. These are enemies that you can, with good play, beat with the knife. But I ain't got that level of play, so I'm not going to try. I'm trying. <laughs> It's not working. Hell with it. Of course, the, the little dips you can't. It's the ones that attack you, because you can predict their movements. As long as you can predict the timing of their movements, you can avoid getting hit. But having a knife behind you is just kind of kind of useless. I'm not a fan of it. And the mom transformation doesn't actually give you that much of a huge benefit overall. Uh, I'm kind of happy with the look upgrade. The tapeworm, I think that's tapeworm, gives you a huge range upgrade, which is great as a Zazel. And there's another one, I think, that gives you a range upgrade at expense of shot speed or something like that. Got a hit there. Not great. But we're going to keep the luck upgrade. It's going to cause more consumables to drop and therefore us to get more points. Hopefully, more uh, more chests would be good. So if we can get in our guppy transformation prospects, we would like to mostly be getting... Help. No, you. It's you. Wow, what? Okay. Um, Guppy's tail, provided we, we can get the keys to open the chest that Guppy's tail causes to happen. Because there's nothing worse, apart from, you know, many real life problems, than getting Guppy's tail and then having chest after chest after chest that you can't do anything about. This is a secret room! It's not. If you say it loud enough and furtively enough, it will become a secret room. History will rewrite itself. Uh, but I didn't... This time, I was not... I didn't give it enough gusto. So history remains implacably exactly as it was. Such is life. It's much easier to change the future than the past, but obviously with enough tone of voice, you can basically change either. That's a true story. And that's going to be the main premise of my manifesto, so vote me. In the next local elections, which are not for some time, so you've got a good amount of time to ponder upon the you know, relative merits of doing so. Not that there are any merits of doing so. But let's not get too political. <laughs> wow, battery charge. Look, the battery charges are pretty useful when we've got low actual damage, but the Book of Belial. Oh, I dodged into it rather than around it. It's a bit of a difficult room to get any maneuverability on. Now, we're not looking for an item room, so we can go a bit faster. Not that we are going a bit faster, because the lack of item rooms is causing us to simply have <laughs> no damage, and therefore we're taking forever anyway. Like, the Book of Belial is pushing us just above what I'd like to be by default at this stage. Just base damage. 
but we can only use it once every three rooms. So once every three rooms, we can just about do as much damage as I would like to be doing all the time. Which, obviously, on average, doesn't balance out to doing enough damage. It balances out to not doing enough damage. To go fast enough to get to boss rush. Oh, I don't want that. Look, I'm a little bit sick of these dead ends. It's nice to find them because it means that, you know, we've explored an entire wing of the floor. But also, I don't want to explore an entire wing of the floor and not find the boss. I want to just find the fucking boss, right? That's why I'm here. We've got a boss to beat, a devil to deal, strength to get, stronger to become. That two of spades misplay turns out not to have been a problem because now we have four keys and I was going to use it on three keys. So now it's uh, it's just profit at the moment. I genuinely thought that that thing was shooting where I was. It turned out it was shooting uh, where I had been and it was actually shooting where I was. I successfully used it that time. Well done me. Two of hearts. Even worse. If I hadn't bought it, we might have been able to get a box of friends. But then again, who gives a shit about box of friends when your only friend is fucking able? This is... No. <laughs> Not spending ages on a room with the tankiest enemies and ever made. Oh, it's an XL floor. No wonder it's taken us forever. At least we'll be out more quickly as a result. But it... Uh, a, it's a deal with the devil down the pan. Because we've currently got the 25% chance that we have from having done the previous floor. Having got one on the previous floor. And... Because there are apparently no item rooms, it's two item rooms also down the pan. I don't know if that gives us a better chance of getting a deal with the devil blowing those up. Um, it's either it gives you a better chance at a deal with the devil, or you have the same amount of chance of a deal, and if you get one, there is now a better chance of it being with the devil. This is bullshit. How the fuck do I kill this thing? Do more damage, get it over and done with. Um, so, I don't know whether there's a better chance of getting the deal, the door, basically. I don't know whether there's a better chance of the door opening. But. Excuse me. None of this, please. I guess we can use the knife to deal with these jokers, to some extent. It does seem to speed up those, because they do. <laughs> very tanky, they take a lot of hits to uh, rid ourselves of them. Oh, help. We're okay. No, no, no. Okay, good. So we'll see. Um, if we do get a deal with the devil, that would be really good. I'm not too concerned about the HP that I'm currently using, the single red heart that we've got. Because if we get down to that stage, we're boned anyway. Like, one red heart and zero red hearts. In either situation, you're basically running on spirit hearts. So I don't particularly worry about that too much. I think I just used the knife to do a lot of damage to the frail here. Uh, now we've got two red hearts, so there's that. Uh, now I wish I hadn't used a book of Belial because we're going to be here forever. Unless we move over here. I can't, um... I can't really use a knife on Gertie here. Because there's no way of me getting close enough... To, oh shit, those things are shooting me. There's no way of getting fuck, close enough to Gertie to actually get the knife to stab him. I am confused by the amount of shit that's happening right now. Let's get rid of that. That's at least one of the Gertie's vectors of a... How did I not get out of the way of that in time, then? Come on, do better. Trying to kill these nubs and also pay attention to what's happening on the screen. Man, this is a pretty uh, hectic, girdy fight right now. With all the shots on the screen. Christ. And it's taking forever to die. We're only about halfway done. We've got one bomb, which we could use if we wanted to. Maybe that got rid of one of the nubs behind it? I don't know. Try and keep this nub at least, you know... Oppressed. Oh, you Christ, you fucking bastard. I don't know what I'm saying. So much shit on this. Ah, where did it come from? There's two of these. I'm sure I killed them all. I've been hit so many times by these fucking nubs because they are taking more hits. Look how quickly they're regenerating. It's outrageous. Well, we've got more HP. Uh, and a fucking Krampus fight. We haven't got any bombs, so this is going to be a while. <laughs> Abel, do all the work for me. It's not working. Look. I can't even open the... Uh, can't even get the black heart in the middle. That's how dire a straits we're in right now. 
How dare are your straight stuff? Oh, five minutes. You did. You can't do that. <laughs> did you see that? He did a turny thing, so I was trapped, and then moved to fucking own me a second time. These are mad strats from Krampus right now. This is fucking next level play, and he's only an AI. He's doing better than me, and I'm an I. Well, in theory. Come on now. Just, just die. You're gonna be here forever. Oh my god, how many times are you gonna hit me? There's no room to maneuver. I can't get any damage on him because I haven't got any damage to my name. Man, if we die at Krampus, I'm gonna be salty as heck. Our damage penalty is gonna be outrageous as well. No turning. He's dead. He's dead. I got bombs. <laughs> Thank you for the bombs, you fucking dick. Let's go. Well, that was both um, caves floors, at least. So now we've got five minutes to do these floors. Fat chance, but okay. Let's try it. I'm trying to um, trying to use the knife, but it's a fool's gambit because we're going to take so much damage as a result. Any upgrade would be brilliant, but there are no upgrades because... I was thinking, you know, it's fine. You're going to get some boss items, right? You'll you'll get some sort of power up eventually. It's just going to be a bit few and far between because it's not going to be from item rooms. No, both fucking bosses on the XL floor gave us HP, which I care not for because I want to use my red hearts. Oh, you fucking bitch. to buy from the devil. The upgrades that we should be getting from oh, uh, for, from the item rooms in the first place, which we don't have. There's nothing upgrady in here either. Like, who needs a? I mean, it was free to get into. We can go in here. Upgrades. Kind of tempted to take this as a defensive thing, but I don't know if we're we lack both defense and offense, so. Excuse me, you put the Book of Belial down and it turns off? I call bullshit on that. Well, we don't have our damage upgrade because I put the Book of Belial down. T-I-L. You know, you live and learn. But we're going to be here forever. Come on now, die. So, I don't know. Do we take the Book of Revelations, which gives us plenty of HP over time, keeps us alive? Would we take Book of Belial, which at least gives us half a chance of getting to boss rush? Just because every few rooms we can do more damage than the room requires. I don't think our DPS is sufficient considering the amount of damage that we're going to have to do between here and boss rush. Literally to, to achieve boss rush. Right, let's get in here. Run. Don't go up. I didn't go up. Gonna want to aim at big rooms, I think. A, they recharge the Book of Belial damage quicker. And B, they're always in the way. You know, you, you end up doing them anyway, so you might as well get them out of the way. Then you can come back through them at any time. Please, though. Please, fucking please. Oh, now you made a host. That's okay. I didn't need this room to be any shorter than it already was going to be. You haven't got enough damage to kill one of those in one... Uh... Oh, fudge. Oh, God, leave me alone. There's too many bones on the screen. <laughs> well, stop watching porn and play the Isaacs. I think they exploded each other, so that at least gave me some respite, but seriously. Everything's got so much HP now, and we haven't, we haven't had a damage upgrade. We've had a tears upgrade, but not a damage upgrade. And two health upgrades, yay. I'm so happy. I know I sound salty, but I think we're doing okay. Let's use this here. It seems like a good... Good room to get through quickly because it's it's got spawners on it. How did you manage that? It's got spawners on it, and you want to make sure that you get rid of spawners pretty quickly. So we did, and we also got a spirit heart from that, and there's some money here, but I don't uh, no, I don't care for it because we're gonna have to use a bomb as well, which is uh, a bomb as well. Of course, is where a bomber gets his water from. No spawning. 
sometimes you can see the value of having an eye in the back of your head shooting in all directions, well, in, in the other direction, and that seemed to be one of them, because in that situation, we could shoot both nubs at the same time and keep them suppressed, stop them from creating spiders, but I'm not necessarily too happy with this. It's a double trouble fucking boss fight. I'm going to give you all my keys. Give me something good. We're not going to make it to boss rush, so we might as well try and get as many uh, opportunities for points as we can, really. Because we could open all of these for free, and that might give us some more keys over time. Um, pretty sure I'm not going to want Child's Heart either. It does cause more... just half hearts, I think, to drop. This isn't XL floor, is it? So we're going to be here forever. More cash, fine. We don't have anything that really benefits us in any way <laughs> right now. Uh, except for this particular noob. Okay, double keep. Got five bombs and no chance. What you do here is you keep the other peep on the other side of the rocks because it can't jump over them. So you try and make sure that whenever it jumps, it jumps across the rocks or tries to. And that will keep it on the other side of the rocks as much as possible. If you don't do any damage to it, it's not going to produce its other eye. And once you've done that, you've actually put yourself in a slightly better position. Because this peep's eyes are going to be on the other side of the room for half the time. Which means they're a lot worse at controlling space than they normally are. Because there's a lot more space to control. Whoa. Doing okay. And one of them's nearly dead because, of course, it's a combined health bar. It's over here. It's over here. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Die already. How are you not dead yet? Excuse me? Can we talk about this? There we go. Let's have a little bit of professional respect for each other, shall we? Peeps 1 and 2. Well, there was no way we would have even beaten this fight in time for boss rush. Goodness me. It's taking absolutely ages. A couple of hits does turn those eyes around, but you can't rely on it. So those hits are often pretty difficult to land, and by which time, they've come and hit you anyway. Alright, bounced off Peep himself. Interesting. Eyeball is back. We haven't been hit yet, which is probably a bit premature to say so, but it's not premature. I mean, yet always refers to something that's happened in the past, so you can never be too early to say what has happened in the past, but I'm feeling pretty good about this, mostly because these eyes are so easy to avoid at the moment. Because they're never here. You know? It's like trying to avoid someone who's always in the same pub, because, you know, they made one too many your mum jokes whilst in the pub. I did get a deal with the devil at last. So you just don't go to that pub. Which happens all the time, because there's loads of pubs. It's a small damage upgrade, and I don't really care for my shadow, so I'm going to keep hold of the HP instead. We did get another guppy item, so one more floor to fulfil that. Hopefully, somewhere in here, there's a way of getting further than the mom fight. But if there isn't, honestly, I'm happy to let this run <laughs> just alive. Be gone, run. I have no... I found no value in you. You're a pain in the backside. You're not making my lazy Sunday all that lazy at all. It's a challenge and a chore. You bastard. Right, kill this. Space takers. Try and, um... Try and entice these to follow you because you can stab them. Would be nice if just had Mom's knife. Can't... Can't be any, uh any clearer about this opinion that I hold, if we could have just had any of the mom items that was any good, rather than <laughs> one that sucks as a result of the three that suck. That would have been splendid too. This is a bit awkward, but we succeeded. Honestly, Curse of Darkness right now is the least of my worries. Thank you for dying just before I panicked and wet myself. Uh, I mean, which room do you want to use Booker Belial on, really? If you're not going to use it on every room you can, what are you waiting for? But what I'm waiting for is a room that I wish that I had Book of Belial available for. So, I guess it sort of answers itself. But it's not... It's not an easy economy. Red Heart. Red Hearts and Black Hearts look even more similar. On um, Curse of Darkness. Ooh. Let's put this here. There's a lot of money available here, potentially. 
I do like shielded tears, but our tier rate is not actually that great. And below a certain tier rate or without piercing shot, having shielded tears can actually be more annoying than it is beneficial. <coughs> Excuse me, because you just end up wasting all your actual tears on on their shots, cancelling them out. But on uh, on rooms like this, it seems great, especially if the tears are about to hit you. One of those random tears hitting you is pretty annoying because I complain about it every time, so you should be aware of how annoying it is. Uh, I'm gonna just fight Mum. I don't care to explore this floor any further, unless we can find a secret room right here, which contains an AWAS room. So I was musing in my spare time, because that's what one does. It's not gonna be here. No super secret room there. That perhaps my major malfunction on dailies is trying to get the exploration bonus. I don't think I should be. I think my best play is actually to try and get through it as fast as possible. Now that wasn't possible on this run because it turned out to be a train wreck which is obviously programmed in and I don't appreciate it. But in general, if you don't know how the run's going to go, but you do know you need to do boss rush and you always need to do boss rush, then you need to rush because there's way more points for boss rush than there are for actually making it through every single floor without any unexplored areas. I think I managed to use the knife there. This is right. Oh, this was available. I didn't even notice. People have been shouting at me. All three people. Use Book of Belial, you dick. No, make me. So in future, I'm going to not worry about the exploration bonus. Unless it's a, a secret room or one of those uh, mob or boss trap rooms that give us an extra like 300 points, which is actually quite a lot. The actual room to room exploration bonus is not that useful. Man, if you wanted to. Do you see that son of a bitch? How did I get a deal with the devil just now? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, it's mom's heart, of course, so. We are going further. But we do still want to find. An Awaz rune. That deal with the devil, which I did not deserve because I got hit for red heart damage on the mom fight. At the end of it, though, so. I don't know. Maybe I deserved it. Maybe I'm amazing. Who knows? Uh, we still want our AWAS rune or a shovel from the devil. If we can manage it. He's Mr. Devil. Nothing of value from the mom fight, of course. Please go away, creep. Because you always get the Polaroid or the negative from the mom fight. And we take the Polaroid because if things work out in our favour or go horribly wrong, at least we have the opportunity to maybe get a little bit of invincibility every so often. Whereas a negative just causes an economical effect in the same situational parameters. Excuse me, how is this happening? Excuse me there, just, just die. I've had enough of you. Right. Isaac's Fork, I think I still prefer the look upgrade, it's a few extra points. What happens here? It's probably one of those annoying bony hands, right? Yeah. Die. Good. I don't want to have to try and face that thing coming down twice if I can avoid it. Uh, this is a thingy here, and this is great, so let's do this and then this. Piercing Shots now makes Lost Contact an excellent pickup. I'm great, uh, I'm great to have, I'm happy to have picked it up. I feel like all the haters can go hate somewhere else. Hate off. Because it was the right choice, and you're wrong. Also, it beats the shit out of Chubb. Wait, that didn't sound right. I sounded wrong, but I couldn't put my finger on why. Eating the shit out of Chubb. Interesting. I mean, what you get up to in your own time. Basically none of my business. I say basically none of my business. It's 100% literally none of my business. But maybe I should make it my business. You know? Maybe we do need Thought Police. Dying, so I didn't have to talk about that anymore. We'll take this and move on. I'm hoping I'm going in the right direction just because I want to sort of get there a bit quicker. Again, there's not that many points for each room that you, uh, that you explore. These things are going to be annoying as shit. So, actually trying to do the whole floor 
It's not worth that many points altogether, is what I'm saying. It's, it's a recognisable number over several floors. Oh, all numbers are recognisable. So it's a significant number. It's not negligible. That was a fucking annoying... I hope those things were popping up so briefly that in the time it takes your tears to arrive at them, they're gone. Like, how has this been like this for such a long time? Oh, you fucking dick. Every run is like this. You have to shoot them from so far away. If you shoot them from far enough away, they don't disappear. Because they haven't fired at you yet. We have to shoot them so goddamn many times. So GD many. Famous author. Take this. Speed up. Oh! That appeared. Oh, that appeared. Take it back. Whew. That wasn't great. <laughs> I just wanted the pill. And then the poops came back and hit me. Mum! The poops came back in here. Good stuff. No, bad stuff. It's a, it's a damage card, so it could be good stuff still. Ah, you didn't die in time. Shame. I'm still in that mode where I'm like, don't use the Book of Belial because it's going to be a room that you hate. And you want to get rid of stuff really quickly, like these thingies that cause enemies, or at least cause collateral sort of area of effect damage. Wow. <laughs> okay. Just stand there, take it, hope for the best, cross your fingers, whistle nonchalantly and wait for everything to blow over. Lost contact is killing the tears with such a plum. A plume. A plumby. There's no E on a plume. Why are you so fast though? This is not in... This is not allowed. You are never this fast. Uh, secret room? Secret room. We'll come back for that if I remember. Stomp. Great. Right, piercing shots with lost contacts, basically causing any shot that comes from an enemy to be irrelevant. Even the ones that are caused by the enemy dying turn out to be irrelevant. Conquest is actually considered to be the fifth horseman, biblically. I, I looked it up because I'm like, what do you mean conquest? Called bullshit. Uh, I think it turns out that Jesus himself was um, supposed to be conquest in this situation. So we'll take this. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And then we'll come and get our turn on heart. Gives us our HP back. The mark's damage upgrade is great, but I'm not going to take the flight, even though flight is very important. Um, it could actually save us. It's a bit of a difficult one because the flight could be what wins the run, being able to manoeuvre sufficiently to not take damage. But then again, it's a it's active flight, so we'd have to give up our Book of Belial. And I'm not ready to do that just yet. Now look at uh, look at Lost Contact piercing shot, though. He's just shooting us, going, oh, where'd my, sh where'd my shots go? I feel like a noob now. I'm going to try again, but Einsteinian in insanity going on right here. How about this time? Blur. Nope. Take all the money you can get. It's a couple of extra points. Oh, do not want. This is one of the rooms that I should have saved my Book of Belial for. I wonder if I could just not go into a big room when Book of Belial is not ready, because it will give us two charges back. Oh, how did I not react in time to attack? I don't know <laughs> what's happening. Seriously, though. Stop. And then, because big rooms are more likely to be annoying and awkward than small rooms, right? Uh, I don't know if that's true. Feels true. So take a book of Belial charge into a big room. Hunt around for a, a tinted rock or find a haggle as room and just deal with it. So this is our last opportunity to actually uh, get down to the next floor. Once this uh, once this floor's over, that's it. This is the end of the mission. It's the end of the challenge run, which has been quite a challenge, I'll be honest. For once. Daily challenge has turned out to be a challenge today. I mean, I'm still assuming that it's Mother's Day in America or some bullshit like that that no one in any other country gives a shit about. But uh, I'll let it be. At least it's causing the daily challenge run to be different and, uh, you know, a challenge. 
I'm trying not to repeat myself, but I haven't really got anything else to say, so... Hello? You fucking dick. Man, I would very much like a tinted rock right now. Right now! Superstar DJ, here we go! Yeah, these things are just that fast. I've never really noticed it before, because normally they're dead as soon as I walk into a room. Not this day. Secret room? No bombs. Bombs! Secret room? Yes. Agreed. Keys and explosive diarrhea. Oh, what is this? Explosive diarrhea. Uh, pill. Yeah, speed up. Let's go a bit faster. Sure. This is a good situation. Normally I walk into these rooms and immediately get hit by that bastard, but not this time. Piercing shots has a lot to... The opposite of a lot to answer for. A lot to be proud of? It has given us a lot. Uh, actually, Mom's... The, the eye on the back of my head is firing so often that it's actually turning out to be useful. In fact, it appears to be every shot. I don't know... Oh, I should have stayed where I was. I would have dodged it. I don't know what causes that. Um, I thought it was based on our luck stats, so maybe Lucky Toe is just sufficient. I don't know. Let's get this done. Maybe we should go and have a look for a super secret room after this, but honestly, I'm thinking, why? Why even bother? Sounds like a lot of effort. We just have to kill Mom here. Pierce all the shots. Don't have to worry about the bullet hell nature. We only have to worry about everything that's spawned as a result of it. Everything die. Good, good, good. Wouldn't mind a blank, but that's a different game entirely. I suppose um, Isaac's at least balanced for Isaac, right? Oh my god, we're doing so little damage, we're going to see every wave. Oh, fuck. Don't, don't get hit. Just don't get hit. It's easy. Got hit. Let's respawn? Respawn. No book of Belial, though, so... I mean, that fight's going to take two or three times as long as we don't take a book of Belial charge in with us, so we can explore a bit more. Maybe we get lucky and find the missing secret down to the next floor. We haven't got any HP, by the way. Apparently that's what happens. You resurrect with zero of anything. Uh... Still firing every single shot. Maybe I'm wrong about how that works. HP and hit. A form of HP. HP nonetheless. Wow. <laughs> Bit ballsy, but it works out. In case you're wondering, I waited for the half a stump thingy to walk into my knife and just cross my fingers that that would turn out to be sufficient for it to actually die. There is some stuff in this double key room, actually. So we'll go back to here. Pick up the HP from this. Yeah, it's a whole one. Don't really need the money, but I would like to do one more room to get the Book of Belial charged up. Plus, no. And you'd be dead. We haven't got enough... Uh, if I'd known this was here, I would have come into that before we did our Book of Belial, uh, our HP upgrading thingy. Healing. Uh, but I didn't know it was there, so we can't get into it, which is a few extra points. I suppose you say down the drain, but in fact it's not. See, there's a situation where maybe flight would have been useful to us, because we would have been able to get that spirit heart without... Well, there's no way of currently getting it, so... We would have been able to get it if we had the flight, but we wouldn't have the Book of Belial to increase our damage in this situation. You absolute twat. We're on a half heart interval now, which means that if we get hit, we will have a brief period of invin brief period of invincibility. Which won't last very long, but it might be enough to get some damage done with the knife. Which is not in and of itself necessarily even possible. Difficult prospect to be sure. Oh, God. No, it's not gonna happen. So now we just have to continue to not get hit despite doing fuck all damage. Oh, we've been here. This was bad last time. What are we supposed to do, huh? Just keep fucking dying and coming back to life. Stop it. Do you know what? We're just going to keep trying until we either die or succeed. This is extremely difficult. I dare say there are many people capable of this, and I am not one of them. <laughs> nope. Hit me. Hooray! We've stopped resurrecting. I never thought I'd say that. 3 14th means that I think everybody else found that just as difficult as I did. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I hope tomorrow's will actually be a normal one without some bullshit on top of it where I can't do any damage. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.